Hey there, what's up? So uh, here's the final presentation for uh, Mass Communication 110. Um, choose a mass media product. And I guess I chose a V8, uh, original, 100% um, vegetable juice. So, um, yeah, so that's the product. It's a convenience style food product. It's made. The reason why it's called V8 it has uh, eight different vegetables in it, hence V8. Um, most of their uh, media platform is on uh, TV ads, some some website ads, and and in store like grocery store ads, as far as like coupons and stuff like that. And um, since the 1980s, their slogan has been "Should have had a V8" or "Could have had a V8." Um, so there's a little background on that. Um, it's got two full servings of vegetables in it, um, whatever that means. What, what's two full servings? <laughs> um, 70, 70 grams of calories, or 70 calories per can. It's got uh, nine sugar, grams of sugar, um, the zero fat, and it has uh, two grams of protein as well. So. Um, but all that sugar comes from the comes from the vegetables, and it's not added sugar. So um, the audience mainly for this is daily consumers in the grocery store, um, people that uh, maybe not don't get a lot of vegetable like raw vegetables in their diet, and want to add this to kind of compensate for that. Um, um, but generally, healthy, active people that want to stay healthy and active. So um, Campbell's Soup Company actually owns V8. Uh, they uh, acquired the company in 1948, um, but before that it was developed, or V8 was developed by um, W.G. Peacock in the late 1800s. Um, it's the founder of New England Products Company, which was then bought out by a couple other companies here there until 1948 when Campbell's bought it. Um, since then, they've added a bunch of different products, like their they have their V8 Energy, their V8 Splash, their V8 Fusion, which like adds fruit and energy and different stuff to it. Um, yeah. So, who creates the product? Um, scientists, chefs, and gastronomists, people who study food, um, create the beverage, and it's it's pretty set in stone. This particular beverage, it's been going for a long time since the early 1900s. So. It's it's a pretty solid product and it's been in in the consumer for almost a hundred years. So it's a good product. Um, it's uh, mainly made from water and tomato concentrate, um, and then they add other the other vegetables in there later, um, like carrots, celery, and so on. Um, so yeah, it costs about. 12 to 20 cents per 12 ounce can, or I guess this is an 11.5 ounce can. Uh, they make them in a bunch of different sizes, um, up to like a 24 ounce, 32 ounce bottle. So, um, but for the for the little ones, about 12 to 20 cents, which comes out to less than like a cent per ounce, um, or about there. Um, so that, and you can find a, a 24 pack at Walmart or. Sam's Club or Amazon even sells it for 12 to 15 bucks. So they have about a 250%, 400% markup, um, depending on if you buy it in bulk or not. Um, so um, the FDA has a lot to say about being a food product. They have to make sure it's okay. There's definitely the different health and sanitation practices that the company needs to make before they can sell it. And then also, the CDC has to do some checks, make sure there's nothing going to kill anybody in this. Um, but it's, you know, so. And then, um, and then in, in 2011, the total revenue for Campbell's Soup Company was $7.7 .7 billion. So it's a huge company with lots of avenues. Um, they have over 17,000 employees. Um, there's an example I found of a job opening, actually. That's, it's a... Uh, Quality Assurance Manager in New Jersey, which is actually um, where V8 is made. So uh, they have plants all over the world, and it's, it's crazy actually how big this company is. They own other big places like Pace Foods, Pepperidge Farms, Prego Sauces, 
out there. So they're a big company. They own a lot. And that's just some of the bigger companies that they own. Um, but. And then, of course, Campbell Soup is huge. All their soup lines, the to-go stuff, the, the, the cans, all the, the chunky, the, the, all the other stuff. So they're a big company, and they can do pretty good. I won't go in too far into the Campbell side of things. Just they're a big company. Um, but um, the job I found back to that uh, was a quality assurance manager, um, the opening for uh, Campbell's Soup Company, and average salary for a quality assurance manager is about one hundred and five thousand dollars a year. I'm in the wrong industry. I need to just make sure it looks good and tastes good, and that sounds pretty good to me. Um, so, I guess to evaluate the product, it, it's it's uh, it teaches people about health a little bit just to stay healthy it wants you to, to, to drink healthy things I mean, it's trying to play into the, the soft drink market sodas and stuff like that it's, it's something you can drink instead of that and for the most part it tastes pretty good um, so it, it's really similar to tomato juice it's uh, just straight tomato juice with some other flavorings but it, it's other vegetable flavors it's not sweet um, but it's not super like I guess there's not a great way to explain it. It's pretty good. Um, I guess it's just the values of it endorses healthy living and lifestyle. Um, it helps people that want to stay fit and healthy drink it. And once they do, it promotes that lifestyle, I guess, in them. Um, the effect on the society, I guess, right now, again, with back to the soft drink thing and everything uh, that kids and adults are drinking these days is super sugary and carbonated and fake you could say in process so this is just a way for um, a big company to get out there and try and promote healthiness in our society um, and it's, it's a good all-around product it kind of say um, you drink this and you'll be healthy which yeah it might help you stay a little healthier but it's not the only thing you can do to be healthy obviously uh, diet and exercise is huge um, as a, so, yeah. So there's V8. Um, uh, I drink one almost every day just because I'm busy and don't always have time to eat my vegetables. So, thanks, and uh, we'll see you next time.